Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a newly seeded cornfield in western Kentucky, and the corn is having a little bit of trouble emerging from the ground because of a long, cold, wet spring, and some heavy rains have encrusted the surface of the field. In order to fix the problem, we can see the farm pulling into the field with a 245 engine horsepower John Deere 8245R tractor equipped with a 41 foot wide Yetter. 3541 rotary hoe. This specialized machine will help break up just the very surface of the field and allow the new corn to emerge. We'll take a look at the specifications and uses for this big rotary hoe during the video, but first let's head out to the field to see this big machinery at work. key to the success in allowing the crop to emerge from this rough surface is the Yetter Spoonbill wheel teeth that are mounted on individual spring cushion cast arms, which allow for better soil contact with each wheel. Even though the wheels look very aggressive, they're simply poking holes in the surface of the field. In no way do they harm the corn that is beginning to emerge. It shatters the crust and leaves the plant completely intact. A rotary hoe is a good insurance policy to have on a farm. It's not an implement that you want to use every year, but sometimes the weather just doesn't cooperate to allow a crop to emerge the way you would hope and use this rotary hoe to go out there and accelerate the growth when the field has been crusted over due to heavy rains or cold weather. Here we can see the farm using their 420 horsepower John Deere 9420R articulated four-wheel drive tractor with a 60-foot wide John Deere 1775 NT 24-row corn planter. You can see from the sky and hear from the wind, the tractor and planter are racing the weather to get that crop seeded before a week's worth of rain sets in because it's important to make sure that the seeds are in the ground and growing at the right time period so they can produce the best yields in the fall.
Once the crop is planted, it doesn't always mean that the weather is going to cooperate to help it emerge. It was planted in sunny 80 degree weather, but after the corn was in the ground, heavy rains came in and then frequent showers and cool weather for a week have crusted the field over and the corn does not have the strength to break through the surface. And that's where the Yetter rotary hoe comes along and just jabs through that crust, shattering it to allow the plants to spring up. In addition to breaking up a soil crust on a field that has experienced heavy rains, the Yetta rotary hoe can be used to mechanically rip out young weeds. It helps aerate and fluff the soil around growing plants, and it can also be used to incorporate herbicides and small seeds in one fast pass. I'm up in the cab of the John Deere 8245R tractor, equipped with the Yetter 3541 rotary hoe. You can see the operator has a good visibility of the implement in the back, and the tractor is traveling anywhere from 8.5 to 9 miles per hour across the field. Again, those spoonbill wheel teeth are just poking holes in the surface of the field. They're not disturbing the crop at all. They're helping accelerate its growth and help it spring out from the soil. This field is fairly rocky and the individually mounted spring wheels work very well in the field because whenever they encounter an obstruction, they simply roll over the top of it and each wheel being independent means that the other ones can stay engaged in the ground while one is going over a rock or other obstacle in the field. The Yetter 3500 series 180 degree flat folding models are available in widths from 25 to 60 feet. This machine can apply 18 pounds of down pressure with the standard springs on it.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this Yetter 3541 rotary hoe. This 41 foot implement folds up to 20 feet 9 inches when it heads down the road. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, I hope that you might consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.